Day 3, Genesis 6-9, The Flood and God's Tears When God judged the world full of evil with the flood, the family of Noah, who was righteous, built the ark and was saved by the grace of God. First point, the rain that fell during Noah's flood signify God's tears. God saw that the very inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. God was distressed and deeply troubled. In the end, he decided to wipe from the face of the earth all that he had created. The rain that covered the whole world signified the despairing heart of God who had created the whole universe and wept as he watched his own creations drown. Second point, God's tears were wept by Noah's sweat from his labors. Even amidst those terrible times, Noah had found favor in the eyes of the Lord. He was told by God to build an ark with his three sons and was warned of the flood. Until then, no rain had fallen on earth, but Noah believed in God's word and swept the buckets to put his obedience into action. God's tears fell to the ground at Noah's countless sweat. Like Noah's obedience, the Bible always shows that a new era of hope opens when one person decided to obey God. Third point. What can humans make God happy with? The way for humans to please our Creator is by offering a true sacrifice. When the 40 days of flood came to an end and Noah came out from the ark, another action of obedience he offered to God was the burnt offering, a true sacrifice. Noah chose the very best animals. He had looked after inside the ark and gave it up as an offering to God without a moment of reluctance. Noah's burnt offering is later adopted into Abraham's burnt offering, and this leads to Moses' five types of offerings. Burnt offering, grain offering, fellowship offering, sin offering, and guilt offering. And the five types of offering present during the priesthood nation changes into worshiping God directly after Jesus' crucifixion. Fourth point, this is a story about God's new covenant shown through the rainbow. God who received Noah's burnt offering gave his promise that he would never again flood the earth and placed a rainbow in the sky as a sign. This rainbow is God's grace covenant. With the grace covenant, God granted Noah to be fruitful and to increase in number. This was God granting humans new life through Noah despite his initial disappointment. Fifth point, Noah's two sons walked backwards to cover their father's nakedness. After the flood, Noah's family planted a vineyard. One day, Noah became drunk from the wine, and one of his sons, Ham, saw his father sleeping naked. He went outside to tell his brothers. Then Shem and Japheth took a garment to cover their father and laid it across their shoulders, walked in backwards, and covered their father's nakedness. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, also covers our sins with his blood so that we no longer have to feel ashamed. Jesus' cross is God's love that has covered all our sins from shame. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily 
live that story as our life story. And he has found a way to do this. And let me tell you how important this app is in a, in a biblical sense. There's this incredible passage in, in Numbers 12, verses 6 to 8, where Miriam and Aaron are fighting. All right, These are the sister of Moses and the brother of Moses. And they are insisting that God speaks to them, maybe as much as through their brother Moses. And, and they're, they're bickering and, and going bantering back and forth. And finally, God has enough of it. So he, he calls them into the tent of meeting. And this is what he says to them. Now, this is Numbers 12, 6 to 8. Listen to my words, Miriam and Aaron. When there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, reveal myself to them in visions. I speak to them in dreams. But this is not true of my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. With him I speak. The Hebrew here is pay el pay. Pay is the 70th letter of the Hebrew alphabet and literally means mouth. In fact, the ancient character, the Hebrew character of pay was the, 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 the outline of a mouth. So God is not appearing to Moses face to face. God is appearing and speaking to Moses, you ready? Mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? The Bible, do you get it? This is the first five books of the Bible, the Torah. We're seen as mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, the, the continuing of God's breath that was breathed initially into the first Adam. The breath of God brought us to life and made us human. And then the tree of life kept that breathing going. And then we're separated from, from that tree with the fall. And now we have, though, the Word of God. And it comes to us mouth-to-mouth from the divine is these but we need daily mouth to mouth inhalations we need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the word of god and that's why a a a tom doc bible is so important well, the devil's tempting jesus matthew 4 4 remember this man shall not live by what right alone but by what every word that proceeds how from out of the mouth of god the scriptures the story genesis to revelation is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the spirit of god into humans to make us truly who god made us to be and that's why this app is so important the, the, the scripture was not given to us as a reading. It was given to us as a hearing. You didn't read the Bible. You heard it. Hebrew children didn't read and memorize the Torah. They heard it. And, and, and from the hearing of it, they memorized it, not from the reading of it. And so it is so important that we understand that faith comes by what? Hearing. And as this passage says in Numbers, that from the mouth to mouth, then Moses saw the form of God. So sound becomes sight. It, it is, the ears come first. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life. 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.